Yeah, here's one of the guys who can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, oh. you, you call your mother or something? Oh, you got to get back to yeah. yeah. I know that. You got to right. get back. All right. All right. Hold it. We've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. When you're down there, Dan, you hear smaller secondary explosions going off every 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and, and so it is an extremely dangerous place to be. And I'm surrounded by firefighters who are just watching helplessly. They've had to, to suspend their rescue operation, and they're just watching a burning hulk of building right now. The, uh, the front part of the World Trade Center has completely sheared off, as well as many of the upper floors. And every few minutes you'll hear like a small sort of a rumbling sound, almost like an explosion sound, and another chunk of it will come flying down into the street. Uh, Rick Sanchez has been there throughout this morning for us. Rick, tell us where you are and what the latest is. Well, I'm in that area, if you're familiar with uh, this area. Uh, uh, where West Broadway and Hudson come together uh, right at Chambers. That would put us about a block and a half away from uh, the site of where the explosion was. That area has just been uh, evacuated because uh, police have found what they describe it as a suspicious device. And they fear that it might be something that could lead to uh, another explosion. Obviously, there, there, there's a real sense of caution here on the part of police. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center, aside from the ones that may have been caused by the impact of the plane with the building, may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. So their fear is that there may have been explosive devices planted either in the building or in the adjacent area, and that's why they're being so cautious. Uh, we heard another explosion, and I'm assuming that's the one that came from the, the lower level, since there were two, and I thought... Right, because it was like 18 minutes apart. Well, this is, you know, the first, the first explosion, and there was a second explosion in the same building. There were two explosions. Okay. The federal agencies that were down there do believe that there was some sort of explosive device somewhere else besides the planes hitting. NBC's Pat Dawson is close to the scene of that attack, Pat. Uh, just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. Um, the chief, Albert Turry, he received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. Uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place. And then an hour after the first hit here, but the first crash that took place, he said, uh, there was a, another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here. He thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. The second device he thinks, he speculates, was probably planted in the building. First one and then the other, some say after secondary explosions. We understand now there has been a secondary explosion on Tower 2. Um. If you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the, at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down. Tell me how you're feeling. How did you get there? What happened to you? Um, I was, I worked for the train center, one of the carpenters, and uh, I was going to go do a job. And um, I got on the elevator, and the freight elevator, and I heard the first um, explosion, and the elevator blew up, the doors blew up, and it dropped. And um, I was lucky that the uh, elevator got caught between two floors that... Which, which floors? The B levels, the basement levels, with all the you know all the mechanics on. There was another big, big explosion in the other tower. Flames coming out in this billowing grey smoke. People still not panicking. People not quite understanding.
understanding what was going on. Then somebody said that they saw an airliner go into one of those towers. Then, uh, I don't know, an hour later than that, we... ...had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. I ran inside the buildings, the chandelier shook, and again, black smoke filled the air. Within another five minutes, we were covered again with more silt and more dust. And then a fire marshal came in and said he had to leave because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, some of the people out have been in the sort of explosions and then some of the collapses. I don't know how many people were in there. I know there's a lot of firefighters. New York's bravest never had a chance. We really never even got to cl close that close to the building. The explosion blew and it knocked everybody over. The FBI is here, as you can see. They had roped this area off. They were taking photographs and securing this area just prior to that huge explosion that we all heard and felt. Most of the victims so far were people outside the blown up buildings. Like, it sounded like gunfire. You know, bang, 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 bang. And then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. To me it sounded like, it, to me it sounded like an explosion, then, then the building, the rolling sound sounded like a building collapsed. Where the floors collapsed down. I saw it blow and then ran like hell. I thought... 69, but I can still run. It just went ba-boom. It was like a bomb went off. And it was like, it was like holy hell coming down them stairs. And then when we, we got, finally got to the bottom, we were coming out on a, a mezzanine level there. And then other explosions came right from the other one flying. We uh, just saw that as well. The second tower, the only one that was standing, tower number one, just uh, we saw some kind of explosion. A lot of smoke come out at the top of the tower and then uh, it collapsed down onto the street. Next thing we know it was blue room and the floor started shaking. And then we thought debris fall down and next thing we know we had to get out of the building. We stuck on the stairs for a while We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby with this big Well, me and Mr. Hess, the Corporation Council, were on the 41st floor. I told them we got to get, get out of here. We started walking down the stairs and made it to the 8th floor. Big explosion. Blew it back into the 8th floor. I was making my way to the foot of the World Trade Center suddenly, while talking to an officer who was questioning me about my press credentials, we heard a very loud blast, an explosion. We looked up, and the uh, building literally began to collapse. Rose Arcee, one of our CNN producers, is on the phone. Rose, what do you got? I'm about a block away, and there were several people that were hanging out the windows right below where the plane crashed, when suddenly you saw the top of the building start to shake and people began leaping from the windows in the north side of the building. You saw two people at first plummet, and then a third one, and then the entire top of the building just blew up, and splinters of debris are falling on the street. When I try to say people, in the moment we heard a big explosion coming down. Everything just went black. Everything came down, glass started popping. People got hurt, stuff went on top of them, and it was a big explosion, and everything got dark, real dark, like snow. You can see behind me, all oh, this is not snow, it's, this is all from the building. It was a terrible nightmare. Because I was down in the basement, all of a sudden we heard a, a, a loud bang. And the elevator doors blew open, some guy was, was burnt up. So I dragged him out, his, his skin was all hanging off. The streets of the financial district covered with debris, in some cases ankle deep. Cars on fire, cars just turned by the force of the explosions. It was like something no one had ever seen. This huge, incredible force of wind and debris actually came up the stairs, uh, knocked my helmet off, knocked me to the ground. I was about five blocks away when I, I heard uh, explosions, three thuds, and turned around to see the building we just got out of, antenna tip over and fall in on itself. We started on floor by floor, started popping out. It was like, was it, if it had detonated, yeah, yeah, there were plans yeah. to take down a building. I go downstairs, the foreman tells me to go to remove the containers. As I'm walking by the main freight car of the building in the corridor, that's, that's when I got blown. I mean, the impact of the explosion of whatever happened, it threw me to the floor, and that's when everything started. This was clearly, the, the, the way the structure is collapsing, this was the result of something that was planned. This is not, it's not accidental. 
that the first tower just happened to collapse and then the second tower just happened to collapse in exactly the same way. How they accomplished this, we don't know. I tell you what, the, a person who believes that this wasn't set up by our own government is an idiot.